three past the hour, watching the tropics and definitely watching the Gulf of Mexico. A couple things, and our hurricane specialist Carl Parker shows us what we can expect from both. Carl. Yeah, the one thing that has not changed is that we're going to see a lot of rain coming up and into the southeast over the next couple of days, easily a few inches and maybe more than that, especially in northern Florida. So let's take a look at the Atlantic overall, and here is the invest area, the pre-tropical depression that may yet become a tropical depression, but probably nothing uh, much more than that, maybe even a low-end tropical storm. Then there's Tropical Storm Aaron, and that's going to move out towards the west-northwest, then begin to curve around, and it's going to be a weak system. So at this point, it does not appear that Aaron poses any threat to the U.S. So here's Invest 92L. We've got new probabilities from the Hurricane Center, and they stuck with the old numbers, so still a 60% chance of development within the next five days. And right now, it's actually being tangled up uh, with an upper-level low. So you Right in there, look at that spin. See that right there? There's very clearly a spin in the atmosphere, but that is not at the surface. That's an upper level low. And on the back side of that upper low, there's some stronger wind, there's some sinking air, and there's some drier air. And that is right where the surface low is, which is right in here. So that is the feature that we would be watching for possible development. But as long as it's tangling with that upper level low, with the sinking air and the drier air, and also the stronger wind, all of which make it difficult for this thing to develop. We're just not going to see much happening. So let's take a look at the high resolution model and show you what it is depicting. I want you to notice how the moisture is sort of peeling off here to the north and to the east, and that's because there are stronger upper level winds helping to do that. So that is really going to be the impact for us. Waves of heavier rain coming into the northeast. Here's the low level circulation dropping to the south and to the west. The models want to weaken that upper low, so we may see some development there in the southern part of the Gulf, but that would most likely only affect Mexico. Yet it's also possible that we see a low developing along the front here and coming up into the northern part of the Gulf, but that would probably be a either a non-tropical or partially tropical low, not a, a full-blown tropical system. So what it would do is just enhance the rainfall across the northern part of the Gulf of Mexico. So we're still not really concerned about any sort of significant coastal impact. So we're thinking about two to three inches of rain over a very large area in the southeast, three to five there in northwest Florida. If we get thunderstorms rolling over the same areas, minute after minute and hour after hour, then we'll be talking about potentially some flash flooding. And that's why flash flood watches are now up across Georgia and also in parts of Florida. One more thing to tell you about, that is Aaron. It's a 40 mile per hour storm moving west northwest at 16. And again, it's going to stay weak and most likely turn off to the north and out into the North Atlantic. Maria, back to you.